for that. But I could truly honestly say that I would give that all up to keep my husband or I would give that all up to have my life and to have the time I have here on earth. And it makes me emotional because um, I'm just really, you know, I'm going through something also personally like with just the times. It's a hard time and I have my personal struggles also but I would give all of that up. Honestly, I would. And that's from my heart because it's not of course we enjoy the material stuff it is mo it motivates you to work hard and it inspires you of course i'm not going to be plastic about that but guys the idea that we have life the idea that we can be with our loved ones tops everything else so that is the idea for me of success and happiness ah! okay what is one aspect you're currently focusing on to become better? I want to be a better person more and more and more. Um, I think as we get older, we become better, a better version of ourselves. Every year, we become a better version. Like this whole pandemic is horrible. I mean, what it's doing to a lot of people is horrible. People losing their jobs, all of that is, is horrible and the typhoon, all of that is really, really horrible. Um, but I feel that may mga pinagdadaanan tayo sa buhay natin, even, uh, even me. Um, you may think I have everything, but honestly, may mga pinagdadaanan ako sa buhay ko. I mean, some things, like for you, may be grand, like having a beautiful bag or a jacket, but some things are just normal for other people. And for me, it is normal to have like this, like that, so it doesn't like, Wow, boning araw ko pa ganito. Hindi ganun yun. So, kumbaga lahat tayo may cruise na dinadala. Balance lang ang buhay natin at the end of the day. Believe me. And we're all gonna one day die. So, it's all fair for everyone. Iba-iba lang yung battles and struggles natin every day. But I feel that um, by the, all of that that we go through, um, problems, struggles, it just makes us a better person. Pa. Again, you have to have a certain understanding with, sorry, I'm gonna get a bit deeper, um, that we are all just passing through in this world. And this isn't, this isn't really where we get our rewards, like the great rewards are gonna happen like in the life after. We're just here. I remember Tita Miriam saying, we're here for just a bleep like a moment, like a spark, and it ends. And everything we go through in life here, and everything that, the good things that we do here, we will be rewarded in the afterlife. Um, but since we're here, don't worry about it. Because if we're here, we're still here. We still have a reward. So you have to show kindness and So you have to show kindness and pay it for it. Growing up, what was a defining moment that empowered you to believe in yourself? Well, even if my parents believed in me so much, I was in front of a lot of toxic people in school growing up. Um, I wasn't accepted for anything. I was made fun of. I was too arte. I was. I I wore a choker, which was so dumb, but I did. I loved the choker, they'd make fun of me. I had no friends, I only had one friend and she passed with, from an accident pa. Um, sinusugod ako sa gym, binabato ako ng volleyball. And if I didn't believe in myself, and if I didn't pray at night, I would probably never get over that. But I really did feel that if people were unkind to me, the more that God was gonna lift me up. And so every time that I wanted to fight back or every time that I wanted to give up, I would just close my eyes and I would say, I know, mi kapalito, I know, I know, I know, if I just stay the way I am, that in time this will all make sense and in time there must be some reward that will happen. And true enough. Um, and I remember seeing these girls again, actually, um, years later. And I remember I was still very nice to them. And I think they appreciated that. 
sinuntok pa nga ako ng isa sa likod ko eh.